You gotta get in the shot. Come here. You picked my makeup. Oh, good boy. This is your debut, my child. You will debut. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena. If you're new to my channel, I put out new videos on Thursdays and I'm here Monday. Today's video, as you can see by the title, this little dude right here picked all, okay, this is getting disgusting now. He picked all my makeup for the day. This is Buddy. If you are new to my channel, I adopted him a year and a, a, year and a half ago. Oh, you me? He is going to be seven in April. He's a Jack Russell Terrier. Some of it went pretty well. Like he was like to the point. Some of it, he needed a little motivation. He's a dog, so, you know, it happens. So I put all of the products he chose into this makeup bag. I got this makeup bag from Shopper Shugmore, if you're curious. For concealers, I don't have a ton. I don't really experiment too much with concealers. I just like to go with what I know that I like. I have the NYX Correct Contour Conceal Palette. I have the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have the Cover FX Cream Concealer, the Sephora Gel Cream, and the Maybelline Fit Me. What is this? Come here, pick one. Yeah, I know. Pick one though. Sit. Boy, no, not lay down. Two different things. That's okay. Keep pick one. <laughs> not my hand. Pick one. One of these. That was like a really hot Z on that one. So the first thing. <clears throat> thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes for shadow. He did kind of pick a few. He was kind of all over the concealers. I would say he liked this one a lot and he also pawed at this one like first. So I'm, I'm gonna go with these ones. This one is the NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Palette in the shade Light. I actually really love this one. And then the cover effects I will use for under my eyes. This brush is from the Wish app and I'm just going to dip in to all three of these shades. And because it's a little thick, I'm just going to take, oh, there's dog hair on these. <sighs> blend that out a smidge so I did that hack where you put your thing in the microwave and this is filled with soap and I wrung it out literally probably like 50 times and it just feels very soapy in there and like I can hear it and it's just not as squishy because it's packed densely with soap and it, the stains gonna come out, so I don't think I'll be trying that again. For the palettes, I decided to pick ones that I have not used yet. So I have the Patrick Star palette. We have the Lux Glitz by Jolie Beauty. We have the Sipping Pretty by Kylie. I have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, still in the packaging. Hasn't even been opened yet. I also have the Urban Decay, I don't even remember what this is called. Bought it so long ago, haven't used it. I have the Anastasia Soft Glam and also the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. Oh, that was definitely this one. I think there's a good range in here. Um, I think I definitely want to use like one of these greens because I, I did a purple look for my last video. I've done some orangey ones, so maybe I'll do like some neutrals and then maybe like a pop of green or something. 
I do not know, okay? So I think I'm just going to take this kind of like peachy color. This is shade Still Shot. Oh, this brush, sorry. This brush is a Lexi 229 Tapered Blending. Now I'm going to mix in the same shade, Still Shot, and then a little bit of Riff, which is more of that brown. Oh, sorry, this brush, ooh, brain. This brush is a NYX 32. Okay, now I'm going to take a Luxie 231 Small Tapered. It's kind of similar to the first one we were using, but this one's a bit smaller. I want to take the shade Riff, which is the brown. And I'm going to dip into Good Is Gone, that dark brown. And I guess we'll just put that on the outer corner there. I'm going to take the NYX 16 brush again. I'm going to dip into Riff and Still Shot. Okay, so where's that little brush? I'm going to take the Luxie 245 into my NYX palette. to take a Luxie 213 brush. Let me just go grab some spray. One sec. And I think I might mix a couple colors together because I'm I can't decide between them. So I think I might mix stranded, blaze, and smog. For primers, we have the Clarins Instant Smooth, we have the Smashbox Original, Too Faced Hangover RX, Corez Greek Smoothie, Urban Decay Optical Illusion, and Clarins SOS Primers. What is this? Pick one. Oh, that one. Wow, that was a good one. Okay. He pretty much went straight to the Urban Decay Optical Illusion. So we will use this. I just do one pump of that massage between my fingertips. All right, as for foundation, um, drugstore wise, I chose the L'Oreal True Match, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I have the Guerlain Lingerie de Paul, Lancome Tanti Doll. Tarte Amazonian, Derma Blend, Liquid Camo, and the Makeup Forever Stick. All right, pick please. Come here, pick one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, pick your foundation though. Look, Nice, what's that? Okay, <laughs> I understand. It love me so much. What is this? Ooh, it was L'Oreal. He booped L'Oreal. As for foundation, he kind of went to both of these, so I think I'm just going to include them both. Um, he definitely went to L'Oreal True Match first. This is in W2 Light Ivory, but then he also knows the Milani one pretty much right after, then went back to the L'Oreal one. So I'll just mix them together. This one is a Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer in 00B Light. Concealer. This is the Cover FX Cream Concealer in N Light. Oh, that is too dark. I'm just gonna take a uh, Luxie 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush 
And I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush just to apply it and then I will blend it. Oh God, that's really dark. Powder. I have two loose pill. For powder, I have two loose powders. I have the Too Faced Peach Perfect and the Rummel match perfection. I have quite a few pressed. I have the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. I have the Hourglass Ambient Light. I have the Becca Mineral. Hey boys, these. Hey boys. Hi. Can you shop there with Come here. Okay, break it. That's fine. Which one? Oh, he licked the page perfect. Good job. That's so good, me! Wow! And then for powder, he licked the Too Faced Peach Perfect, so I, oh god. So that's what I will be using. I will just dip my sponge into it. I guess bake the under eye without actually leaving it there. So I'll dip my sponge into the powder and like really saturate it. I'll put it on, but I'll blend all that powder in. Okay, so then I'm just going to take this brush. This is the Quo Professional Blush Brush. And I am just going to set the entire face with that. Next is bronzer, so I've pulled out the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, the Kat Von D Shade and Light. Uh, this I got from Marshalls. Yeah, this is the Absolute New York Strobing and Shading Highlight and Contouring Palette. And I also chose some cream contour for him too because I don't know what his preference is. This one is the Dior and these ones are the Smashbox. So let's just see. Alright, come here. Don't jump on the bunny. You can't. I know. Oh my me. You used to just run attention. Yeah. Okay, pick one. Pick one. Nope. Ugh. What is this? Oh. Slobbered on Smashbox. I just remembered he picked the cream contour sticks from Smashbox, but I just set my face, so that's not gonna work anymore. So I just I'll just have to use the powder one. So after reviewing the footage, it seemed like he was looking at this one. This is the absolute uh, strobing and shading, highlighting, and contouring palette. Okay, so I'm actually going to take that same brush that I use for powder. And I am going to dip into um, first just the middle shade. It's a little warmer. Okay, so I ended up just only using that center shade. So now I'm going to take a Dior 22 brush and dip into the same shade for a nose contour. And then I'm just going to take my sponge with the foundation on it. to brows we have the benefit goof proof this is the NYX eyebrow cake powder we have the Dior styler pencil we have the NYX gel the Anastasia brow duo powder and the Maybelline tattoo studio all right buddy come here Which one do you like? Okay, you like that? 
Let me move on to eyebrows really quick. He only ended up picking one item, which was, uh, what is this called? Eyebrow gel. I gave him lots of options. I tried to even get him to pick a second option and he was like, <laughs> bitch, no. So... Okie dokie, for blush, we have MAC Cubic. We have the Maybelline Master Highlight. They're like blush. We have a Lancome Blushing Tresor. We have Clarins in Soft Peach. We have Milani in Dulce Pink and Milani in Romantic Rose. Okay, what does this mean? Come here. Come here, what is this? Come here. Come here. Yummy. Pick one. Wow. You have to encourage him, you know? These are so nice. Come here. No, not me, baby. Pick a blush. Is that Milani? You kind of pawed that. That will do. Um, for blush, he chose the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. I am going to use a NYX 8 brush. Moving on to highlights. So highlight we have Jeffree Star. We have a Physician's Formula in Warm Nude. We have Becca, Dior, Fenty, MAC, and Sleek. Big highlighter. Wow, mama. Let's hide that. Can pick one? <gasps> Do not break them, please. Please. highlight I reviewed the content and he was so all over the place he kind of sniffed everything so I decided to pick um, the two that he stepped on which was Fenty and Becca the Fenty one is the kilowatt a lightning dust and fire crystal and Becca champagne pop and I will use that on a Morphe 501. So I'll do just the bottom lash line. I kind of want to use this one, Big Sky. So I'm just mixing Big Sky, two dips of that and one dip of the blue radio beside it. I picked quite a few because I wear at least two mascaras, so he needs to pick at least two mascaras. This one is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. Wasn't a huge fan. The Dior Iconic Overcurl. Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm not the biggest fan of this one either. Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's okay, I don't think it's really like worth all the hype, but CoverGirl Clump Crusher and Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. Come here, ah, look. Look on the floor. Okay, well he knows that one, unfortunately, this one. Come here, enough of the toy. Enough with the toy. Pick a mascara. Buddy, please. Pick a mascara. Pick one. That one. Okay, thank you. There you go. Okay, so where's my... Okay, here it is. I have my eyelash curlers. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is the CoverGirl. Oh, they're both CoverGirl. CoverGirl Super Sizer. I originally purchased it because... I thought the brush was interesting on the packaging. Um, in person, it the bristles are just not long enough. The brush is quite flimsy. I like a really stiff brush, so I just don't like it for that reason. 
And then we also have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. <laughs> in some pops of color hoping he does not pick these but I mean you gotta give him the option I have Kat Von D Outlaw I have two Joe Fresh I have Bourgeois then these ones are more like natural and more my vibes I have Guerlain in O2 my number one in spicy blush the infallible paint I have Jeffrey in Mannequin, I have Kylie in Coco, I have Dose of Colors, and another Bourgeois. Come here, look at these, pick a lipstick, pick a lipstick, look at these. Wow. Oh god, oh god, he booped this one. <laughs> Lips, I... As you can see, I gave him a ton of options, and I didn't want to just give him like neutral options because you know, like the whole purpose of the video is to see what the f I'll pick. And he picked this. So. <laughs> oh my lanta. This is a, this is a something. The lip is really pretty, but this is just too much. Do you like it? Mm. Do you think I did a good job? Let's thank this little man right here for picking this. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you go. And I will catch you in my next video on Monday. Toodles. Okay, one thing, these ugh, these pajamas have pockets in them, which, who designed that? I, I love you. It's so convenient.